All right, so first you're gonna go to www.floricolorusa.com. Then you're gonna click on FO, you're gonna click on the FOS. You're gonna to go to the order area, enter the area. And you're gonna select what you wanna design. I'm gonna do a book. Um, then you're gonna select the type. I'm gonna do a collection. And I'm gonna be creating an acrylic collection here. Then you're gonna select if it's vertical, horizontal, or square. Mine is vertical. You're gonna select the size. And you're gonna name this project. Pretty simple so far, you guys. All right, so now you're gonna upload your photos. Um, I'm gonna do mine from my computer. I'm gonna find the images on my computer. And then they're uploading super quick. Go straight to continue. This album was pre-designed with Flory software. So see this little square? You're gonna click on the square with an arrow. If you need to center it, you usually don't, but if you wanna do anything, you can do so here. There you go. And then you're gonna scroll up to your page one. The nice thing about this is if things are out of order, say you decide after looking at it that you wanna switch a page, you actually can just place the page where you want to. So this is actually one thing I really like about the new updated um, portion of the software is I can just change things out of order. Um, sometimes when designing things, you know, you design it and then realize, oh man, I really would have wanted this page before the other one. Um, this gives you the chance to go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go through here and I'm going to, again, I'm clicking on the little square with an arrow and it's just going to put it right in. So now I'm counting uh, how many pages left and I'm going to add those pages. All right, so let's go and add this. Almost done here, you guys. So it's pretty simple again. Just click on the little arrow, it moves it right on over. You don't have to drag and drop it. Um, there's more creative things you can do, but again, if you designed it on Fundy software, um, just put the arrow and it puts it right in for you. So I finished here. I'm gonna next just scroll up, make sure um, that everything has a one by it, which means I didn't forget any images and um, just check the way it looks, then go straight to order. And again, it's going very quickly, which is wonderful. All right, so that's loading up here. It's gonna take you to the next page um, where you're gonna, you're gonna select here if um, that you design from another software and you're gonna select what type of um, cover material that you wanna use. There's a variety of covers here. I'm actually gonna be using the snake for this one, but um, this album really looks good in many covers. Um, one of my favorites, is um, dark flower. I also like the ice dark silver. Um, I really like the um, down scrolling down here so I can remember the name you guys because I'm horrible at these names. But the other one that I like here is the Ubon um, 01. That's my other favorite for this. Uh, make sure the colors that you're choosing again represent your brand, represent the style that you're going for for your company. I choose silk paper for this album. I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels, and this is one of my album upgrades. If you're gonna do gilding, select yes or no. Mine's no. Um, I'm not gonna put my studio emblem on the front, so I'm gonna say no here. And then you're just gonna say if this is a sample or not, and if it is, click yes. If no, then you're gonna go ahead and click no, and you're gonna add to the cart. And that's it, you guys. So uh, if there's any comments that you need to make or anything that you want the people designing it to know, then let them know here. And that's it.